Right. Thank you for coming and uh, taking you to the summit. Uh, so why are you here? Why, why is mobile health relevant to you? See, from a health insurance company perspective, uh, one of the significant areas of interest uh, is how do we contain the costs within the overall health system. Now, across all the countries, costs of the health system have become a huge issue. And uh, unless we do something really fundamental about it, we are not really going to have a system that's going to be viable for the long term. In that context, we are looking at a whole bunch of areas as to how do we actually reduce the costs or take the costs out of the health system. As an example, if you were to look at drug adherence or you look at wellness programs, these are things which can really uh, help a lot by way of either eliminating or avoiding costs, or if not, at least keep the costs in check. And mobile can play a significant role uh, in terms of enabling adherence to drugs or disease management or wellness programs, a whole set of areas which can have a significant impact. And from that perspective, for Humana, it's a very, very key area of focus. And we have been doing a number of pilots in this space and I'm very much here at this conference to essentially exchange some of the thoughts uh, with some of the other participants who are also really doing some terrific stuff and uh, to sort of get to know them, network, uh, and also take back some learnings with me when I head back. So you talked about learnings, getting to know others, networking. Are there other expectations you have for this summit? See, one is because this field, mobile, while it has substantially evolved in other fields like financial services, Curiously, in the space of health, uh, the entire ecosystem has not evolved and the role which mobile is playing today is fairly nascent. So a lot of people are doing across different parts of the ecosystem and one of the key reasons why I'm here today is to get an understanding and a broad awareness of what is happening around the world across different parts of the ecosystem so I can effectively take some learnings from that. Uh, either to know what their experiences have been or even fundamentally to know what is happening out there. So it's a very useful exchange of information and learnings and that's why, uh, you know, one of the key reasons why I'm here is that. And so far, I know it's, it's early in this particular day, but are there some key takeaways? Is this living up to your expectations? Are there already some new actions that you think you'll take? So curiously, uh, with the players that I have interacted uh, this morning, and they represent all walks of life and all parts of the ecosystem, right from the telecom companies to the pharmaceutical folks, as well as the uh, provider community and so on. And what's interesting is every one of them is focused on the same kind of issues, and uh, they're all grappling with the same problems, and there is a lot that really can be done collectively if we were to be collaborative and really share our learnings and get together, network, and understand it, uh, you know, what each one's perspectives are. And I think from that perspective, what I have really come back uh, feeling is that there is a lot that we can gain if we were to really come together. And given exactly the fact that most of them are focusing on the very same issues uh, that we at Humana are also today. If there was one thing you could change in the ecosystem that you think would make mobile health and the things you've talked about for Humana move forward, what, what would that be? Which one thing? The one thing would probably be setting up of the standards and enabling of the basic infrastructure uh, that gets the entire process of evolution much more accelerated uh, and start showing results straight away.